the uptick on gas prices continues to go up. And it comes at a delicate time when the United States is crawling its way out of a deep recession and small businesses are feeling the pinch. It's a concern for small business owners. I know that two years ago when gases were, uh, prices were spiking $4 a gallon, uh, we know it crippled many businesses. The Middle East violence has already pushed fuel prices up and according to the AAA, prices are up an average of five cents in one week. Then, last Friday, the devastating earthquake and tsunami rocked the island nation of Japan, which might push gas prices up at the pump even higher. But barrels of crude oil is falling? Um, globally right now, what we're seeing is a decrease in the demand for Japan, from Japan for crude oil, um, a lot of their production facilities being devastated, their refineries being shut down. The demand has decreased, Japan being the third largest economy. That has a fairly significant impact on prices. The earthquake put three of Japan's five largest refineries out of commission. And Japan is expected to search overseas to get their oil, not only for transportation, but for a new source of electricity. So we'd be looking most probably at an increase, a normal increase and an additional increase as they look to replace that energy source, most probably with oil, um, fossil fuels in general. According to the latest AAA report, the national average for gas prices here runs a hefty $3.55 a gallon. Experts say that in the short term we should not see a direct effect on our gas prices, but that could change as summer creeps near when demand tends to go up. Reporting for UTBS News, I'm Tony Christner.